30 Minute Music Hour. I'm Andy Moore. Tonight, from Minneapolis, Minnesota, The Pines.
gypsies on their dark horse rides to hobo jungles with their shanty town brides. Oh, the world's more full of weeping than you can surmise. So hard to see with your eyes on the prize. All falling with wonder. Those towers of will shine on long, long by my sea. much graveyard as there is farmyard in your music, isn't there? It's, uh, do you write the songs together, uh, the lyrics, and, and work out the arrangements, or does it go back and forth? Kind of do both. Yeah, they kind of come together somewhere. How did that song come together? Uh, that's a, just a, a, you know, uh, starts as a riff, it starts as a couple of lyrical ideas, and then uh, we think we kind of worked on the rhythm of it together. The songs start somewhere, and then they go into the workshop, and they come out, you know, a different being, so. Hopefully finished. Hopefully. Those three songs sure were. Those are songs from uh, Tremolo. Eric, maybe you could take this CD so people get a good look at it. David Huckfelt, Vincent Ramsey, and James Buckley, the trio from the city is with us tonight from Minneapolis, and that's on Red House Records. And that's a, what's the scene at Red House? Everybody hears a lot about Red House. Red House is, they've been celebrated last year, their 25th anniversary as an independent record label. And uh, so they're carrying forth with uh, the tradition of putting out quality artists, um, still making CDs and full albums and trying to, uh, you know, keep alive that spirit of, of uh, listening to music as a whole piece of, uh, you know, as an album, I guess. This album was created and finished in two days, which Surprises a lot of people when they hear that. Uh, how did that happen? Well, it just sort of happened. We just kind of wrote the songs, and we've, we've always worked very quickly. Um, I mean, that's in the old days. I mean, I don't know, maybe people still do it, but we just, we have the songs, and we try not to overthink them too much. Vincent's father, Bo Ramsey, who's been a, a, a past guest on the program with Pieta Brown, uh, produced uh, this particular record. And what was it like working with your dad? It's a, it's a great experience. He fits, I mean, kind of uh, since we started, he's always kind of been in, in the shadows. And, and um, he just kind of gets right in there, and he kind of, we bounce ideas. He's a great person to bounce ideas off of and what we can do and what, you know, um, what's reasonable. And he kind of sees our vision, so he kind of helps us mm -hmm. along. and. There's re great restraint in his guitar playing, and there is in yours, too. Um, and that's, I think, a great thing, um, uh, knowing right where the notes belong. Is that something that he tried to... It, it, where is that coming from? Is that right from your father? Probably. Um, I don't... I didn't... It wasn't, it's not really a conscious thing, but it, it's just that sense of space mm -hmm. that... I, it's, I don't know where it really comes from. You can make up your own mind about the similarities. You can see all of the uh, past 30-minute music hours on our website. And, um, and if you're watching on the web, we want to welcome you um, on this afternoon if you're watching us live. We also want to say hello and thank you for checking us out on the web to our friends out in Seattle and around the world who are watching on the No Depression website today.
We're happy to, to have you guys uh, watching this great trio from Minneapolis to Pines. A few more songs from Tremolo? Yes. Okay, thanks. All right, thank you.
The song was called Lonesome Tremolo Blues. It's written in Iowa. This next song is called Pale Pale Horse. It's off our first record. Ticks out along the road, and I guess I should have left your lips alone. I guess I should have listened to what the preacher said in jail. When everything goes from bad to worse, I put my money on a pale white horse. Now meet 
you at the wall, babe. It's time to wait.